Hi, my name is Miss Lara and I am a volunteer with the Baker County Library System in Baker City, Oregon. And today I'm going to read Lamont the Lonely Monster. Lamont the Lonely Monster is written by Dean Wally, illustrated by Don Page. Once upon a time there was a very lonely monster named Lamont. He was hairy and scary on the outside like other monsters. On the inside he was good and kind. More than anything else in the world Lamont wanted a friend. He went from house to house looking for a friendly face but the people inside greeted him in the same way. Eek! Help! After knocking on 77 doors without finding even one friend Lamont was about to give up. But just then he saw a little house that looked very friendly. So he decided once more to try. Lamont knocked softly on the door and when it opened he saw a little boy. Would you be my friend? asked Lamont. I have a better idea, said the little boy, who was very nice and didn't want to hurt Lamont's feelings. Why don't you go over to Monster Mansion? You may find a friend there who's just right for you. Lamont thought that was a very good idea. So that very day he went to number 13 Dreadful Drive and knocked on the door of Monster Mansion. No one answered. So Lamont pulled the door open and saw Sam the Sulky Skeleton. Hello, said Lamont. I'm looking for a friend. Uh, what a bother, said Sam Sulky. I'm not about to be your friend, but you can look around Monster Mansion if you want to. Better watch out for Uriah the Heap, though. He eats monsters like you for breakfast. Keeping that warning in mind, Lamont the Lonely Monster began to explore. Maybe there's a friend in here, he said, when he saw what looked like a hope chest. But when he opened the lid, he found... <gasps> a sleeping vampire! Oh, he doesn't look very friendly. I better not wake him, said Lamont as he closed the lid. And I'd better watch out for Uriah the Heap. He sounds dreadful. In the next room, Lamont heard the sound of heavy breathing coming from the closet. Maybe there's a new friend trying to get out, said Lamont. But when he opened the door, there was a werewolf. Oh! <laughs> Growled the werewolf. Oh, he doesn't sound very friendly to me moaned Lamont, and he shut the door and went on his way, hoping that he wouldn't run into Uriah the Heap. My, what a lot of books, said Lamont, as he went into the library. Here's an interesting one called Open Here. As Lamont pulled the book from the shelf, a hidden panel in the bookshelf creaked open, and there stood a pair of ghosts. It's Uriah the Heap! They screamed as they disappeared. Oh, if people confuse me with that terrible fellow, said Lamont, I'll never find a friend. Lamont walked down the hall until he came to a door where a lot of smoke was seeping out. Disregarding the sign on the door, he opened it to see what was inside. Ah! Screeched the witch. How dare you interrupt me when I'm mixing my secret potion? Sorry, dear, whimpered Lamont. I, I was just looking for a friend. Be gone, cried the witch. And may you meet Uriah the Heap before the day is out. He'll take care of you. Well, that's what I'm afraid of, shuddered Lamont as he crept away. I'll try one more door before I give up and go home, said Lamont, as he stopped before the largest door in the house. The lonely monster should have been more careful, but he was willing to risk anything to find a friend. He reached out and threw open the door, only to find... Dun, dun, dun! Uriah the Heap! Aha! cried the horrible Heap. It looks like I found another victim! Please, Mr. Heap, Lamont stammered. 
I I wouldn't make a t terrible b breakfast. C couldn't we be, be fr friends? Friends? cried Uriah the Heap. Friends? You and me? Friends? W well, th th that is why I came here, m Mr. Heap. I want so, so much to have a friend. And at that, a great big shiny tear trickled down the cheek of Uriah the Heap. N no one has ever wanted to be my friend before, he said. This is the happiest day of my horrible life. All the other creatures who were lurking in the fireplace could hardly believe their ears. So, as the bewildered boarders at Monster Mansion looked on in amazement, Lamont the Lonely Monster and Uriah the Heap locked arms and walked into the sunshiny world and into the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thanks for joining us for reading Lamont the Lonely Monster this afternoon. Don't forget to wash your monster paws.